welcome back. I hope you were able to use the AMS game builder mode and might have created a game as well. Well, today we are going to learn about some advanced hand gesture detection. Example, pinch gesture and the fist gesture. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. We will start with the new game in a game builder mode and click on AI hand gesture game. Once we are in, we will first pick up the game setup and the game loop blocks. I'm going to use a variable named distance to store the distance between the two points. So I'm going to create a variable and set it to zero initially. Next, I'm going to check if my hand is detected or not. So I'm going to pick up this block from hand pose. I'm going to go this control if if hand is detected, then do this thing. I'm going to set the distance to calculate distance between two points. Now, what are two points? Two points are basically the index fingertip and the thumb tip. Okay. So I'm going to go uh, over here and uh, sorry, in the hand pose and I can duplicate these two points and select my exact points. So you can see I have selected the index finger tip, which is this one and the thumb tip, which is this one. So whatever the distance uh, I'm getting, I'll print it over here on the console. Console can be used as a empty space uh, or a printing space where you can print some data. So I'm going to go to console and print to console and then I'll print the value of distance. Okay, now let's save it and open up the console and see what is the value that I'm getting. So you can see currently I have my hand uh, at a distance of one feet from my camera and the distance between these two points is like is around 150. If I uh, move pull them apart it is 200. If I bring them closer you can see I can bring them closer and it is uh, less than 35 less than 30 or 35 okay uh, yeah you can see uh, it all also affects as I move my hand, the distance goes to seven or eight. And I, as I do this, the distance is 22, 23. Okay. One more thing which affects this distance is basically the distance from the camera. So if I'm bringing this closer to the camera, you can see the distance is increasing. Currently the distance has increased to like 40 or 50 pixels. And when I take it back, farther from the camera the distance has reduced to 10 or 12 okay so uh, i need to keep my hand at a stable distance from the camera i have a table in front of me and i'm keeping my hand on top of it and i'm getting the basic distance which is less than i can say less than 30 okay more than 30 less than 30 let's use these values and create something so in order to do something i will first use a sprite i'll create a sprite and I give it a name duck. I'll create the duck sprite and I'll upload an image. And then I can select this. I know this duck is very small. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to increase the size of this duck, which will be like 200%. And now if I play this, you can see. Yeah duck is visible on the screen what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, hide this duck from the screen when i'm making the pin gesture okay so basically whenever whenever the distance between these two points is reduced the duck will be uh, invisible or hidden okay so i'm going to use an if block and i'll calculate the distance if the distance is less than equal to 30 30 what i'm going to do is i'm going to hide my sprite so change sprite visibility to hidden else else if or else actually visible else the sprite will be visible okay let's save it and check it if it is working or not so yeah Yeah, currently it is visible, hidden, visible, hidden, visible, hidden. Okay, that is how I can actually use this event. I have created an event 
and used uh, it for an action and the action is basically the hiding and uh, basically the changing the visibility of my duck sprite okay similarly i can check the distance currently uh, the distance is basically 170 and when the distance is reduced less than 30 uh, that sprite is hidden okay similarly what i can do is i can actually uh, calculate distance between any two points okay for example this was the pin gesture now let's say if i want to detect this gesture which is basically the fish gesture so i need to change these two points i will click on this point this point which is middle fingertip i can either select this point or maybe this point i am going to choose wrist point because uh, it's basically like this i want to make this gesture and uh, yes first i would check if this is working or not otherwise i will uh, change this value because this value is main component which is actually uh, controlling the visibility okay so i'm going to play it and let's see no effect because my distance is still uh, like greater than 30 okay currently i'm getting values less than 90 i can say less than 90 so i will just change this value I'll stop the game. I'll change this to 90 and save. And now I will test. So I'm getting values 250 to 30 hidden and the values are less than 90. Okay. So this is how you can actually create as many events as you want and uh, yeah, change the visibility or the size. Uh, of your sprite for example if you want to change the size of your sprite what i need to do is i just disable these two blocks or i can uh, keep them outside the game loop and then what i will do is i will just duplicate this set sprite scale and use the distance block okay and save it now play the game And you can see the sprite scale is changing with my fish gesture. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is how you can actually create so many events. Uh, you can calculate distance between any two points and can calculate or detect advanced gestures. Now it's time to create one game using this uh, gesture technique or these advanced gestures. So let's begin with it. So let's create a game where an ant will be moving on the screen and our task is to stop it using the pin gesture. In order to do that, we need few sprites. First of all, I'll go to the flat icon website and search for the ant. As you can see, I've already searched for ant. I can pick up any ant I want. I would like to pick this one and I'll download it in the size of 128 pixels. Once this is done, I will also search for a blood clot image and use it. So I'll go down and yeah, I like this one. Again, I'll download it into the size of 128 pixels. And now I can come back. So let's start with our sprites. First of all, I'll create my sprite, which will be named as Ant. I will create this sprite and upload the image of the sprite of Ant. Now I can select it and done. Next, I want to set its position. So I will set it position to wall, create position and this. I want to keep my ant on this position initially. So this is 800 and half of the screen size in Y direction. So get world width is 800 and I will duplicate it to get the world half height, which will be basically this something like this half height okay now let's play it and see if this is working or not yeah you can see the sprite is coming over here okay now i want to create some markers for my hand i need to detect if both of the markers that will be placed on my fingertips are touching my ant sprite so then only i can increase the score so i need to create some markers for my fingertips okay i'll go to marker and i'll select create marker and I'll name it marker one and I will create marker two. So create marker and again duplicate it for one and two. Then I can 
set their diameters and then I can change the color so I want to make the marker one in blue color like this or maybe slightly darker and uh, yeah this so now these two markers have been created and if I play the game scale it up you will see I can see two markers in the center of the screen very small blue color dot currently both of the marker are, are at the same position that's why uh, they are not visible as two uh, so I will now map them onto my fingers okay so I will go back stop and first of all I'll do two things basically I will start moving my ant from right to left and then when the ant will reach over here or cross the zeroth position I will reset it back over here okay so let's move our sprite so go to sprite move sprite at speed 10 to position I can duplicate it and I'll just delete it so that I can get zero okay so this will move from here to here along the center line okay then once the position of my sprite which I can get using this block once the x position of my sprite is less than equal to zero I need to reset the position back to this this side right side okay let's check if this is working or not yeah you can see the sprite is moving okay uh, I'm sorry I choose the right uh, wrong sprite uh, the color of the ant is matching with my background the, my wall so I will quickly change the sprite image and play it again okay now you can see the ant sprite has been changed I change it to a bright red color or pink color and you can see when the sprite is moving from the left right direction to the left direction once it crosses the zeroth position it will reset its position back to over here okay on the right side now once this is done I can move to the next part which is detecting the pin gesture okay so I'll go to control pick up this block and I'll keep it outside the first if okay then I will check if the hand is detected if hand is detected what should I do I should set marker one position to get the key point of fingertip index fingertip similarly marker two position to thumb tip done save and let's play and check if this is working or not yeah now you can see both of the markers are tracking onto my fingers okay yeah now the next thing is I need to check if both of the markers are touching my ant sprite okay so I will go to in if control if and go to sprite and pick up this position block then I will go to control and pick up an ant block so if sprite ant is touching the marker one and duplicate marker two okay if this is happening what should happen first of all I will change the sprite image to the blood clot image so first I'll upload the blood clot image this one yeah this is done save it okay and then what I can do is I can move I will first reset the image to ant and I'll set it as 200 milliseconds okay and then I will reset the position so I'll duplicate this and place it over here save let's check if this is working or not yeah you can see I uh, want one more thing which is basically adding a tone 
so i'll upload a tone first which will be this <coughs> and i'll play it whenever i'm pinching the ant so save it play and now you can see the score will increase also the sound will come Okay, and this is how you can create a game using the advanced hand gestures. You can actually create different events and can assign different actions to them as well. That's it for today and we will meet in the next class.